Okay, everybody, so in that last video, Sam covered the Nikon D7000, which is a great camera to review, and now I'm going to be going over a Canon. As Sam mentioned in that video, some of the buttons and settings are in different places, and so by going over the Canon, I think you'll get a better idea of the most popular and general buttons that are featured on most cameras. And since Canon and Nikon are two of the most popular brands, we thought it would be great to show both cameras. So the first button, which is your mo main button to know about, is the shutter release button. And pressing this down will take the photo. Now if you are on autofocus mode, you can press it halfway down, and if I do that, you will see the lens move. And that is getting the camera in focus. And now it's halfway down, and if I press it fully, it actually takes the picture. On the back of the camera, once you have taken a photo, you will have the image review button, which is a little button with a little play icon. So it's a rectangle with a little play icon. If you've pressed that, you can now review the image. If you want, you can use this plus and minus button. So there's a little icon that says plus and minus, and that refers to these two buttons to zoom in. And I know it's hard to see this, but it's zooming in or zooming out of your photo. And that allows you to check your focus and really just reviewing your image to see if you like it. Below this image review button is the trash can icon, which is the button to delete your image. So you don't like it and you don't want it to take up any space on your camera right now, you can just click that button. There is an option that says cancel and erase and you use this dial over here to go left or right to change from cancel to erase. And if I want to erase it, you can just press this button in the middle of the dial to erase it. And then when you're done reviewing the photo, you just press the review photo button again and it gets back to this main menu. And on the Canon, this LCD screen gives all the information you need to know about the settings that your camera is on. Now this is a lot of advanced stuff that we'll be covering in future lessons but you can see your shutter speed, your f-stop or iris or aperture, all the same name for the same setting, your ISO, all sorts of things. So speaking of settings, a couple of the main settings you'll want to know how to change are your white balance and ISO. And on a Canon, as Sam mentioned, you have buttons up here for WB, which is white balance, and it says ISO right here for ISO. Now white balance, that's a way that your camera reads the light and how warm or cool the light temperature is, something again we'll cover in a future lesson. And then ISO, like Sam mentioned, is a way that your camera, how sensitive it is. And so you can press these two things. And once you do that, press the button, options pop up on this back screen and you can use the dial again to move throughout your menu. And so this dial again is very important because it's the way that you actually move throughout your menu. Back on top here, you have this illumination button. So this little screen right here is similar to the back LCD screen, and it has information about your camera settings. And if it's at night and you want to basically look at it and it's dark, it will illuminate it for you. Right above these buttons is a dial up here, and this will change your shutter speed. Again, another thing we'll be covering in a future lesson but this is basically how fast your shutter is going. And this will change how you expose your photography. So just moving this dial from left to right will change that. So hopping over to this other dial on the left hand side of your camera, you have this dial that changes the way your camera takes photos from manual to different priority modes and auto. So the two things that we'll be covering right now are your manual, which is M, and then this green box, which is auto. So if you want to take a photo without having to play with your settings at all, you just check it, put this dial on this green box, and that's on auto mode. And again, there's a little white sort of line right here, and that's, you just move your dial, and whatever lines up with that white line is the setting you're on. And it also has some custom settings that you can set up in your menu, but again, that's very advanced. Moving back to the front of the camera, you have this flash button. So it's a little lightning bolt with an arrow. And you press that down, and the flash pops up. 
pretty simple. Below this flash button, we'll talk a little bit about your lens. And so this button on the right side of the lens allows you to take on and off the lens. So pressing that down and then twisting your lens counterclockwise will take it off. There's a red button on your lens and a red button on the camera mount itself. Lining those up, turning to the right or clockwise will lock the lens in place. So on the lens itself, there is an autofocus and manual focus button. So switching this from one to the other will turn on autofocus or keep it on manual focus. Now one thing that's great about this camera, the 7D, is that it can shoot video. And this is a pretty standard feature with most DSLRs in the modern age. And to enable video, there is a little knob right here to the right of this viewfinder. And on the top, you have a little camera icon and a little video camera icon. And switching this little dial to the left will enable the video mode. And it also brings up the live view feature. So your LCD screen on the back will actually show what is being seen through the lens. And you see that this button says start, stop. And that's how you record video. So pressing this will enable record. So your camera is now recording. You see a little red light in the top right corner of your LCD screen. So you know it's recording. Pressing that again will stop it. Now this is how it looks on a 70, but even on different models of a Canon, these buttons will be in different places. So, so depending on what camera you have, you might have to go into the manual to figure out where your video mode is. So one thing that's a little bit different about a Canon is this Q button. And this allows you to go into your settings, which appear here on the LCD screen, and change them. And while there's a lot of different things that you change back here, this is where you turn on burst mode on a Canon. So if you press Q, you can use the joystick on the right side of the camera to move up, down, left, right. So using this little joystick on the right hand side moving up and down, you can get down to your shooting mode. And to change the setting of any of these options, you actually press the set button in the middle of this dial to go into the deeper menu and then use this dial to change. So this is where you can change it from single shooting mode to high speed continuous, low speed continuous, a longer self timer or a shorter self timer. So this is again, burst mode is where you can take multiple photos at once, such as shooting sports when you see cameras just shooting continuously to try to get the right shot. So those are some of the main buttons that you will need to know on your camera. So let's go over some of the other things that you will see. On the top is a hot shoe, and this is where you can place an external flash. So instead of using the camera's flash, you can get a better flash where you can rotate it around, and that goes in there. And you can also plug in different things for video as well. On the right side, uh, beneath your hand grip, you will see this little slot that you can open up, and this is where your memory card goes. This 7D shoots with CF cards. So there is a little button here that allows you to release it, and then you can just plug it back into the slot, close it up. On the bottom, you have your battery slot. Open it up. Again, there's a button that you take out and put it back in. Here's a little screw hole where you place a base plate for a tripod, or some tripods you screw this directly into the tripod itself. And beneath this little plug thing is a slot for the vertical grip where you can actually add more battery power to your camera so it lasts longer. On the left side of the camera are a few more slots that have to do with a microphone. So you can plug in a microphone, a little USB out, HDMI out. So if you have an external monitor, you can plug in there. And over here, you have a little plug for adding in external remote control so that you can take pictures without even touching your camera. And lastly, on the back of the camera, this is very important, is the viewfinder. This is where you look through to see what you're going to shoot. And on the right side is a little dial, which you can change depending on your vision. And if you're nearsighted or farsighted, you can sort of dial this back and forth to make sure that what you're seeing through the viewfinder is clear. So I know this is a lot of stuff and 
you might be feeling a little overwhelmed right now. You might have to replay this video or the last one about the Nikon one more time to really get a better grip on all the different buttons and the anatomy of a camera. And your camera might be different. So you might have to go through the manual yourself and compare. See where your image review button is, where the delete button is, how your camera works. Thanks for watching and now we're going to be moving into some videos about the menu.